obviously we had a big list of injuries coming into the game and I thought the younger lads especially really stepped up in training and uh, the performance was just there, it was really good to uh, the way the young lads stepped in, it was really good. Okay, and a man of the match performance from yourself, you kicked seven from eight, you must be happy with that? Uh, yeah, something I've been trying to work on for a while now, so um, most important thing is we got the win, so that's the plus. And obviously there were a lot of changes to the team, but especially the back line with the likes of Caelan Blade coming in for the first time and the academy guys like Peter Robb, Roy Parada, you came through the academy yourself. How did you find those guys did today? Yeah, I thought they did really well. Uh, Caelan really um, controlled stuff and made my job pretty easy. Um, it was a strange enough one being one of the older fellas in the back line, so uh, it, was, it was good. OK, so we're top of Pool 1 and the challenge going to go over to Newcastle next week. How important is that game, I suppose, just before we go back into Pro 12? Yeah, obviously we saw how tough they were today. Um, it's going to be a tough game away over there, especially with the 4G pitch. So uh, we're going to regroup after tonight. We have Monday off, so we'll uh, put the legs up and be ready to return to go next Sunday. 25-10, how proud are you of that performance? Yeah, extremely proud. I mean, when, when you look at the you know, the, the bit of adversity around the injuries, it's just unbelievable. You know, we lost 10 in the morning of the game too. And, you know, Matt Healy's never played fullback at, uh, at this level. And, um, you know, he did tremendously well. And then all the young fellas, you know, we had six academy guys out there. and. Um, you know, the thing I love about, uh, you know, I think it, this, this whole place here at Connick Rugby is that it, it is one big family. It is, you know, it is all about teamwork and, um, you know, and guys are able to come in and step in, and, you know, and, and just pick up where others are left off because they know their jobs. And, you know, but more importantly, they've got a real hunger and a real ambition to su succeed and get out there and do their, they're just so hungry to be part of it. And, um, you know, to come away with, uh, with, it was a tough one, a tough game, you know, but, and, um, but it, was, it was great to get the win. And Newcastle really brought a lot of intensity to that game. How well did our guys do to, to overcome that? Yeah, it was. I mean, we knew they would. I mean, they're a um, you know, premiership team. And, uh, you know, there's, there's, although they, um, there's, there's some guys that play uh, often together and, um, you know, some big boys. But, you know, we defended really well. First half, maybe we were a bit slow getting off the line. But we put a lot of pressure at the ball at the breakdown. And we got some, some good turnovers. But... You know, we had to really grind it out, and you know, Jack Hardy had a great day with the kicking, with the kicking boot, and uh, kept the kept the scoreboard ticking on, and and um, you know, and then we we came away with a couple of tries uh, near the end there to uh, to pull away. And you mentioned Jack Hardy there; he obviously did really well, especially in a very changed backline. How well did those academy guys, the likes of Roy Parada, Peter Robb, those guys coming in? How well did they do? Yeah, I mean, it was a very young backline, and um, but I think it shows. Uh, I said to them before, you know. Rory started the season off with Bundy and then um, Peter started off with Bundy and now it's the two of them together. So, you know, I mentioned a quiet word to them about, you know, they've got to be the Bundy, you know, the guy who, who, who leads, the guy who, you know, excites them. I thought both of them did, did really well. And then, you know, Caelan Blade, you know, he's been waiting for his opportunity and he came on and, and, um, and brought us brought a lot of energy as well. And then, you know, you look at our back row with Sean O'Brien and, um, and James Connolly, you know, and they, they, they were well um, looked after by the old man George back there. And, but, you know, to see those sort of guys uh, is just really exciting and, and you know, and obviously creates depth. But it's, there's a lot of uh, good Irish players coming through here and I'm, and I'm extremely proud of them. And we're top of pool one still, um, heading over to Newcastle. How important is next week and I suppose this competition in general? Yeah, it's a, it's a, a real challenge for us now because, you know, obviously we lost Dave McSherry at the end there, 10 and, um, you know, Matt Healy took a, there's, there's a few knocks there and my real concern now is that we have a, a tough game. We're going over to a 4G pitch, um, six days, only a six day turnaround to play Ulster back here, which is a big game for us. So trying to manage this and, and, and at the moment, you know, we're, we're pleading hopefully with the, um, you know, the EPCO to uh, give us some leeway so we can bring some of the younger players and some more players in because we are really struggling on our feet to get a, a match day squad up there.